So hello and welcome to our on-demand webinar on protecting customer data with DC220 and fast track technology. I'm your host, Nick Meeks, Global Manager of Data Center Infrastructure Operations at FastTrack, and I'm joined today by Nick Leishman, General Manager of Data Center 220 based in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, today we'll be discussing the significance of ISO 27001 certification for data centers and protecting customer data. We'll also delve into the process of obtaining the certification, the ongoing maintenance required to maintain compliance, and its impact on customer relationships. Additionally, we'll explore future trends and challenges related to data center security and compliance. So Nick, thank you for joining me today. Um, can you please explain to our audience what it means when our organization becomes ISO 27001 certified? Yeah, hi Nick, thanks for having me. Um, so when an organization becomes ISO 27001 certified, it means that they've implemented the information security management system, the ISMS, that meets the requirements of the ISO 27001 standard. This standard provides the framework for managing and protecting the sensitive information, such as financial information, intellectual property, personal data, and other critical information assets. Achieving ISO 27001 certification demonstrates that the organization has a comprehensive and robust approach to information security management. So it shows that they've identified and assessed their information security risks and implemented the controls to manage those risks effectively. It also means the organization subscribes the ethos of continuous improvement, helping them stay up to date with the emerging threats and vulnerabilities. So gaining the certification sounds like an important step in committing to that ethos. What are some of the other benefits of achieving the certification? Sure. So, so a couple of benefits that come to mind are enhanced credibility and trust. So the ISO 27001 certification demonstrates an organization's commitment to information security, enhancing customer and stakeholder trust. Another is it gives you a competitive advantage. Um, many organizations require their suppliers and partners to be ISO 27001 certified. And this, this gives organizations a slight competitive advantage in the market. Also helps the organization with improved risk management. The ISO provides a structured approach to risk management and helps organizations identify and manage information security risks more effectively. Excellent. Yeah, I'm sure that certification yeah. provides an additional peace of mind to your customers. Uh, what motivated DC220 to pursue ISO 27001 certification? And how long did that process take? Well, we we, we saw ISO 27 as certification as a way not only to ensure that we adhere to global standards for information security, but also to apply the methodology of continuous improvement and risk assessment in all areas of our business. This, this, this was a long process. But it took, took around two years in total um, just to put our processes in order and analyze things first, um, even before the auditing process began. Right. So can you tell us uh, some more about the process of preparing for and obtaining uh, ISO certification and the common challenges that data centers might encounter during this process? Um, yes, of course. The the process for preparing for ISO 27 certification involves several steps. So these include conducting a risk assessment, developing the policies and procedures, implementing security controls, and then conducting the internal audits. The challenges that data centers might encounter during this process include identifying and managing the risks, aligning the policies and procedures with the ISO 27 standards, and ensuring the effective communication and management of resources. Additionally, the process requires significant time and resources, as well as training and education for staff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so now that you've achieved the certification, how do you plan on retaining your compliance, considering there's ongoing maintenance and monitoring steps required? Well, the, the first step was to identify and document all the processes and procedures relevant to this information security. So we first invested some time in training our staff as internal auditors to ensure that everyone had a full understanding and were able to actively participate in the certification process. So this overcame the challenge of staff engagement and increased awareness of the security risks and importance of having standards. 
Awesome. So spending time creating your staff sounds like a worthwhile investment then. I oh, absolutely at the high dividends. Can you tell us about the impact uh, that becoming ISO certified has had on your customer relationships and how other data centers can use this certification to demonstrate their commitment to security and compliance? Sure. Though since ISO 27 certification was an internationally recognized standard for information security, it definitely builds trust within the relationships. So customers can be assured that information security is paramount to our organization and that we are constantly analyzing the risks to improve the processes. I'm, I'm sure they would. Trust and confidence are critical in building long-term relationships, obviously. Um, so how do you retain the certification? Do you undergo routine maintenance and monitoring to ensure compliance? Um, yes, we do. So we actively look for continuous improvement um, with regular internal reviews of policy and and encourage external feedback from our customers and suppliers. And then we full internal audits are completed every six months by our certified staff. Okay. So for the final question today, what do you anticipate being the future trends and challenges related to data center security and compliance? And how can data centers stay ahead of those challenges? Well, that's a great question. Um, the, the, the rapid evolving nature of security threats means that data center operators must ensure that everyone in the organization is able to identify and assess these risks. The responsibility lies with us all, really, to ensure the integrity of security management systems and stay ahead of the curve. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so thanks for joining us today, Nick. I uh, really appreciate you taking the time to talk and share your insights. Yeah, no problem at all. Thanks for inviting me to chat. <laughs>